Uh, this is a bad idea. <sighs> Such a bad idea. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and welcome back to the project. In this video, we're going to be working with the Jeep ZJ side view mirrors. Now, what we have here is a pair of Laredo mirrors. They're the textured black mirrors. Uh, these are electric and they're heated, which is great, but I want to replace these with limited mirrors, the ones that are smooth and paintable to match the color of your ZJ. Um, I went ahead and I scored a set of limited mirrors online on eBay. I got a great deal for them because they were pretty busted up. The mirrors were cracked. They were scratched up. Uh, it doesn't matter because we're going to restore it. Um, I want the limited mirrors because they have an additional function. They have a memory function. And we're going to get to that in another video. But uh, for now, we're going to restore those. We're even going to replace the glass because the glass gets a little funky. <laughs> All you guys know what I'm talking about. Come in here and we'll show you what's up with the glass. So yeah, here's the glass side of the mirror. And again, this is still a great mirror. It's, it's heated and everything, and it's electric. Everything moves and functions right. Uh, here's the glass. It's got this rot starting to drip in behind the glass, and you can't fix that, and it's really bothering me. So I went ahead and I found some new glass uh, that is heated also, um, and we're gonna put that in the mirrors that I found. Uh, we're gonna restore some limited mirrors, put them on, we're gonna regain the heatedness, the uh, electricness, and we're also gonna get uh, a memory function. Uh, and we'll worry about the memory function in another video. Let's just focus on the mirrors. So let's go to the bench and see what we got. All right, guys, so here is my passenger side mirror. And it's a nice plum color. I don't know what paint code this is, purple plum. Uh, it's a factory mirror. And um, the glass is out, so I chipped this glass out. <laughs> it was a pain in the butt. Uh, here's some clips of that. So after I did all that glass work, which was a pain in the butt, I realized you could just pop a screwdriver in here and <laughs> lift it up and this comes right out. Uh, the only problem with that is the glue on the back of the glass, it, it might stick into uh, this part so you won't get that slide action. Um, so I've been struggling <laughs> with the other mirror, uh, the driver mirror. Let's just take this out just for uh, demonstrations purposes, I guess. We'll just leave this out here. So yeah, that's the internals. Up, down, left, right. Here's the, the heated mirror function. Uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. So we'll set this aside. <laughs> I'm battling with this driver mirror. Um, I chipped off <laughs> an extra layer of glass. I, is this a thing, guys? I, I never saw this before uh, on any vehicle. It had an extra, I guess, protective glass coating. Um, so yeah, I'm working against this, and now I'm also <laughs> chipping into this glass too now. Um, here's this mirror. This mirror is pretty jacked up also. Again, not a real big loss. I scored both these mirrors for super cheap. Uh, my replacement glass, I got, you know what? I'll show you the replacement glass. Ooh, what's up? Here we go. Here's my replacement glass. I found this on eBay. This is Burko, Burko replacement glass. Uh, I guess this is the part number, 2709H. And this one is, okay, uh, 3235H. Um, it should be driver and passenger mirror. And made in the USA, yeah baby, uh, digging that. So this is supposed to be better than factory replacement glass look at this nice heated elements oh there we go that is a nice piece of glass this is a uh, mirror heaven and no rot on the sides so the goal is to <laughs> somehow get this mirror 
into this housing. Whoa, looking good. <laughs> Mirror into this housing. Um, so we're gonna try to do that. Uh, I just gotta get this piece of glass out. I'll continue working on this and then we'll see what happens. Ugh. I don't even know guys, I don't even know. All right, gonna keep chipping away. All right, so I just relocked in the uh, mirror holder into the mirror housing. Um, so how to get this out? Again, you just give this a little pressure, I guess upwards right in the middle, and this slides out. So I wanna do the same thing for the driver mirror. I wanna apply a little bit of pressure to the mirror to try to slide this out. So I'm gonna be very careful. Try to put in a little upward pressure. You know what? I'm gonna put on some glasses and some gloves because I don't want to get cut. All right, so I have a feeling this mirror is gonna fight me. Gonna do my best to try to get it out in one piece. I have a feeling it's gonna be a disaster just like the other mirror. Like, look at this. What is this? Extra glue? Ugh, nobody needs that. I sure don't. Like, why are you even here? Oh, good thing I have the glasses. That would have been a phaser. Boom! You just got phased! It's supposed to just slide out. It's gonna make me chip away the glass again. Alright. Well, if I'm gonna have to chip away this glass... Ugh. This is ridiculous. I'm gonna chip away this glass, I'm gonna put it in a box, and I'm going to get the heat gun and chip all this stuff out. Hey, can you see it? Uncle Jerry. <laughs> Go check out d &E in the garage, they're awesome. Feast again, Corman. The heat gun sure does help. <laughs> Oops. All right. So let me see if I could get a better understanding of what's going on here. Here we have, all right, another heating element wire. This is what was going around the entire frame on that other glass, which is weird. These are the factory heating element plugs. We're gonna save these. Chuck this. There. All right, well, there we have it. Driver's side mirror. All right, whenever you're working with broken glass, it's a good idea to wipe down your workspace with a moist paper towel. This way the moisture soaks up all the little glass particles, sticks right in there, and you won't cut yourself. Cool, all right, let's take a look at our housings. So yeah, this is a complete factory housing. Uh, nothing special here, a little faded paint. Uh, no chips, no cracks. And we have a nice little housing for our mirror, a little mirror holder, I'll call it. Still have to chip off some of this glue. No biggie, we'll do that later. Um, cool, and here is, Sorry, here is the plug. Now you can tell, one, two, three, four, five, this has eight connections in here. 
So this will use all the functions of this plug and it will use the memory function also. So I'll set this to the side. Oh, and one more thing. Check this out. Right here, here's the date code. We got the Chrysler stamp and it says 96 right here, 96. And the arrow is pointing to this little dial, right? Between the nine and the 10. So let's just go ahead and say this was made at the end of September. There we go. End of September, 1996. So that's this mirror. And this mirror, again, I'm a little confused by this mirror. This is a factory mirror. You can tell the Chrysler stamp. And the date code here, if you can see it, it's stamped 1995, and the arrow is pointing to 7. So I'll say this is made uh, July 1995, and uh, factory mirror again. But uh, I'm not too sure about that extra extra mirror glass covering. I've never seen that before. Guys, if you know, it, was this a really, really good uh, aftermarket upgrade? Because, I mean, it's even included in the wire harness right here. So, I don't know, guys. Was this a really, really good aftermarket upgrade with this glass? Or was this a special factory winter package or something that came stock on special uh, 95 ZJs? I don't know. Let me know. So, all right. Let's clean these up. Get ready to paint. All right. I got some brake clean. Just going to hit it with the brake clean. Get some of this junk off. And I have... Uh, 800 grit sanding pad So I'm gonna rough this up. I might have to go down to 400 But this should just get the dirt the grime off And we'll see where we're at go from there Yeah, get all that funky stuff off Getting the razor blade out for this one guys. I'm talking bug gut smash on here. That was a doozy. All right, I got my mirrors all sanded down. I ended up using uh, some 400 grit and the spots that had some chips. And uh, yeah, I ended up going over both of them with some 400 lightly. This way uh, we'll have some nice stickage <laughs> with the paint. The paint will stick on nicely and I won't have to worry about any chipping, hopefully chipping, peeling, flaking. So yeah, gonna clean out all the cracks and crevices. And we'll let the isopropyl alcohol dry up there, and then we'll um, shake up our paint cans and apply some paint. Well, all right, guys, let's get these mirrors down. Um, not a bad job. I mean, you could always see a you could always see a little to a lot more imperfections after it's been clear coated. Um, yeah, that's why you have to take care of your prep and get it right because when everything's glossy and cleared, it really makes the imperfections pop. But overall, not a bad job for these mirrors. Uh, they've been painted, they've been clear coated, and now I think they're ready to get their mirrors. So uh, we'll take these down, take them to the bench, we're going to mirror up. <laughs> right. Alright, so the first side we're going to do is our passenger side. Got our passenger side replacement glass. Going to set that aside there. And I'm going to want to clean up this little uh, holder, <laughs> the glass holder, I still don't know what to call it, the glass plate. So I'm going to go ahead and Peel some of this old glue off. Now let me wipe out the spider webs in here. Don't need old spiders and new glass. All right. 
flip this around. I'm gonna start picking off some of this glue. And I'm gonna go ahead and use some rubbing alcohol just to make sure the glue, or I think it's actually double-sided tape that's included, just to make sure everything sticks well. Don't want the mirror popping off. I'm just gonna clean this whole area. And actually it tells you right where to glue the mirror. Glue. It wants you to apply glue in this hash mark. So I think we're gonna use the double-sided tape that it comes with. All right, oh, I almost forgot. I wanted to show you this too. All right, so this is the passenger mirror. This was the driver mirror with that extra plate of glass and that weird trim frame. And uh, you can see that the uh, the mirror holder, it's, uh, it's different. Now, this was driving me crazy. Uh, I actually lost sleep on this because it looks like a factory mirror. Everything was wired to this thing very clean, very tight but I did not know what this was for. There you go, you could actually still see some of the wire that's in this. So I searched a lot on the forums. This is actually, believe it or not, an OEM auto dimming mirror uh, thing. <laughs> this piece of glass, when electricity is run through it, it auto tints it to that blue color, just like the rear view mirror. Now the rear view mirror is the, um, the main, um, what do you call it? How should I say it? It's the lead unit on the system, and this is a, a slave accessory to that mirror. So once the mirror detects that it's auto-dimming, it sends the signal through these wires. Be right back. Here we go. So when the rear view mirror detects that it needs to be auto-dimmed, it uh, sends the signal through this wire into here, into this piece of glass, and that is what dims the mirror. It's completely um, dependent on the mirror. Again, it's the it's a slave system. Uh, whatever the rear view mirror decides it will be, this mirror will be. And that's again to reduce the glare into the driver's eyes. So auto dimming mir mirror feature on this 1995 ZJ limited side view mirror. So that was pretty cool. Problem solved, <laughs> now I can sleep. <laughs> so uh, yeah, unfortunately uh, I will not be wiring this back up because I had no idea about it, didn't even know it existed. So we're just gonna go ahead and do without it. Uh, I'm gonna put this to the side and since these are actually different, I'm gonna attach the new glass to my existing driver side uh, mirror plate thingy. So, all right, back to the glass. All right, here we go. The Burko passenger side mirror glass, and this is uh, factory spec stuff. It's supposed to be great quality. And we'll take a look at it in a second. As soon as I get this open. All right, well, there it is. Yeah, this is cool stuff right here. Objects in mirror. <laughs> Close to that. Warning! Warning! <laughs> are closer than they appear! Cool! <laughs> Alright. So, I'm gonna set this aside. You know, I had to get my quote in there somehow. <laughs> and, uh, look at this. Here we go. Here are the double sided adhesive pads. Let's see. Is there instructions for these? I think it's pretty straightforward, guys. Pretty simple stuff. We're gonna just. Pop an adhesive pad on here, and then pop the mirror onto that. Um, yeah. Easy as pie. Totally. Alright, I'm going to put this aside. And what I want to do is, when I install this, I don't want to put the glue on the uh, the mounts to attach this to the, to the housing. I want to keep this free. So I'm going to cut around this as much as possible. I'll do some semicircles or, or what have you. Um, yeah, all right, we'll do that now. All 
There we go. Let's see, can I fit a whole one down here? Unlikely. All right, <laughs> that looks like enough stickers on there. Uh, what else should I do? I'm gonna go and heat this with a heat gun just to get the glue all nice and gluey. <laughs> that always makes a better stick when it's nice and hot. All right, great. Get this nice and warm. Get nothing too crazy. Not trying to melt anything. All right, time to attach the mirror. Now you can clearly see the plugs for the heated mirror go uh, right in here. And this is all the heating element. Again, just a positive and negative. I don't even think it matters which way it goes. So we're gonna line it up and drop it in. Apply some pressure, clean the glass while sticking it on. <laughs> cool stuff. Wow, check it. That is nice. All right, let's attach it to the housing. All right, so now we just got to plug in our mirror. And uh, if you don't get it just right, like I did the first time, don't try to peel off your mirror. It's a lot easier just to... Uh, Bend these little prongs out. Use a screwdriver. No big deal. They're metal. They will bend. And if you could see around here, I just uh, trimmed a little out with my razor blade just so I could get in there. All right. Let's plug these in. All right, so now I'm just gonna bend, let's see, which way does it go? All right, I'm gonna push this down. This will help me slide the mirror in. And I'm just gonna attach it on, slide it down so it clicks in place. There we go, that's it. Mirror is in, guys. <laughs> that is nice. Go ahead and clean this up a bit. There we go, guys. Brand new, restored mirror, paint to match. That's looking good. <laughs> cool. All right. Um, yeah, I'll go do the driver's side, and then uh, we'll close this video out. Sweet. All right, guys, that's going to do it for my Jeep ZJ side view mirror restoration project. Check these out. These look so good. The glass is perfect. The uh, paint came out pretty good. Painted to match, clear coated. So we're going to say bye-bye to these textured mirrors. And another video. Uh, don't miss that one. We're going to install these mirrors, and we're going to activate the memory function. So we're going to have memory mirrors. Uh, it's also going to activate the memory seats. So uh, it's going to be a cool one. Don't miss it. Um, yeah, you guys can uh, check the link in the description below for uh, the products for the mirror glass and uh, Also check out the stickers go get some stickers help support the project uh, I really appreciate all you guys have done and uh, that's it guys like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next project. Peace All right, here's the driver's side mirror. We're gonna try to extract the glass without breaking it I'm still gonna replace it. Uh, I just want to get this mirror holder because this one is not all weird like the one that had the auto dim. So I want this holder, let's get it out. Ah, busted. <laughs>